my radar going 30 in a school zone, which is 15. I can prove you wrong using calculus. Alright, well, you gotta show up in court on uh, June 1st. I'll see you there. Order, order. Will the defendant please come to the stand? I swear by almighty calculus that I will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Ed and Crozier, you are charged with going 30 miles per hour in a school zone, which is 15 miles per hour. This is normally criminal speed. What do you have to say about it? I was not! Order! Order! Please continue. I was not speeding. I'm sorry. I can prove it using calculus. Your Honor, if I may. Using the MVT, I can prove my innocence. If you look here, I have the MVT, which stands for the Mean Value Theorem. It states that f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. As you can see over here, I crossed the first line uh, at this time and at the distance of 272 feet. When I crossed the second line, I crossed it at a distance of 330 feet. That means that the distance between the lines was 58 feet. Now, when you plug in f of b and f of a, you're plugging in the two distances, which would be 330 and 272. Below that, we plug in the time, and then subtract from one another and divide. Once you divide, you get 22 feet per, 22 feet per second. And if you look down here at this conversion, the speed limit of 15 miles an hour converts to 22 feet per second, justifying that I was within the legal speed range when I crossed the two white lines, proving the officer incorrect. It's very interesting. It seems to all check out. I think you're free to go. Woo! Order, order. Will the defendant please I swear by almighty calculus that I will tell the whole truth I swear by almighty calculus that I will tell the whole truth. Oh my God. <laughs> if you come over here to my diagram, you can see that F, or you can see that A being the time, which was five, wait, what do I say by the time? Woo! Oh, I can't get it off. <laughs> uh, shoulders are too tight.